capacity building is, is such a broad term. Uh, if you could, uh, can you, just in a few words, mm -hmm. kind of break it down, elaborate a little bit, what do we really mean when you're talking about uh, capacity building? We just simply try to enable individuals and institutions to be able to change the lives of people, to be able to achieve results. Yeah, but in That's, this case, yeah. you, you seem to be targeting particular yeah. skills, set skills, and you're looking at, uh, uh, from the package we saw, science and technology, those are the kind of fields that f seem to be having a, a kind of a shortfall across the continent. Yes, you're absolutely correct. But uh, we need to understand that capacity building is not just simply training or education. Building capacity could be the capacity of human beings, which we call human capacity, or institutions or organizations, or, uh, so that they can function well, or even an entire society. So, uh, and from SCBF standpoint, it is uh, uh, our view and, and our approach to capacity development is a bit all-encompassing, looking at all these dimensions of capacity, the reason being that if you just simply focus on one of them, uh, you may not be able to achieve your results. But coming back to the issue that you mentioned, which is probably the most important, uh, the area of skills, uh, there is no question that uh, what we call human capital is the most important ingredient for economic development. Of course, institutions are important, good governance, and so on and so forth. Uh, but if you want to develop, and African countries have come out with Agenda 2063, uh, which mirrors the Agenda 2030, the SDGs. And we as ACBF have asked the fundamental question, does Africa have the critical skills to bring about economic transformation, mm -hmm. which is at the center of what they're saying uh, in terms of industrialization and agricultural mod modernization, and of course, advanced um, manufacturing. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, unfortunately, our an assessment of the capacity necessary for achieving these important um, framework, development frameworks is not there, both from an institutional perspective mm -hmm. and from a human capacity perspective. Yes. At least they're insufficient as we speak. Yes.